Good morning, Peter Gertz. I'm a psychiatrist. So can you have mental problems and still be a psychiatrist? The short answer, in my opinion, a strong yes. Pretty much everything has a silver lining. For example, if someone was using IV heroin for 20 years and becomes a drug counselor, they can have a lot of compassion, understanding of the people who use drugs. So pretty much anything, even enormous pain, suffering, being um, using heroin for 20 years can have an advantage, can be an advantage. So an example, a colleague of mine, a very good psychiatrist, had, as far as I know, been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. We both worked in a big psychiatric hospital at the time. And he apparently became delusional trying to convince uh, drug dealers not to sell drugs and started talking with them and apparently was found to be acting so strangely that he was brought to the psychiatric hospital emergency room where we both worked. I don't know if he'd stopped taking his medicine. I'm not sure what the reason behind that all was. But in any case, he was taken to the psychiatric hospital where we both worked and was then hospitalized as far as I know, not in our hospital, but I think a different hospital. But two months later, he was back at work and doing fine. And like I said, he was an excellent psychiatrist. And part of him being an excellent psychiatrist, I think was because he knew the other side. So that's one example. For me, myself, growing up with my mother was a huge challenge. And that flipped around for me, for instance, when I saw patients where, or when I've seen patients with borderline personality disorder or diagnosed with borderline personality disorder who are having a meltdown, screaming, being verbally abusive, emotionally totally out of control. That to me is a piece of cake compared to dealing with my mother. So... She's deceased now, but that was a blessing for me in a way also, because <clears throat> that helped me to flip that around and have an ability to deal pretty easily with patients like I just described. So again, pretty much anything has a silver lining. And having had that background can give you empathy for patients, compassion for patients, understanding for where they're coming from because you've been there at least in certain situations and also having been through challenges emotional challenges even major psychiatric challenges hospitalizations all that can help motivate you to help others with challenges so at least in a certain way Having been through challenges yourself mentally can be an enormous help in being a psychiatrist. And of course, along the way, you help yourself by learning about all these things, by learning about mental illness, emotional problems. So you're able to help yourself along the road while you're helping others. So again, having been through a lot of mental challenges yourself can really be an advantage in being a psychiatrist. Thank you.